Hello. Hello there. So, Ron calling from American Home Shield. How are you doing? Hey, right, what's up? Um, you'd sent us a complaint asking us to give you a call about a fee on the account. Yeah, I just, you know, hell, I paid a hundred dollars to get my uh, service charge stuff plus my monthly charge. Yes. My refrigerator went out almost a month ago. The report was uh, logged in on the second. Y'all took my money out on the fifth. They came out a few days later and checked it and said it needed a default switch. Well, the parts have been in since the 11th mm -hmm. of this month. Today is the 24th. Okay? You can't okay. get a hold of these folks at First Choice uh, Repair Place. They won't return calls. You can't talk to nobody over there. I've tried John Blue in the face. Uh, Y'all tried, you know, calling and emailing and stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, the the, the problem is, sir, that we have tried to book the, the job with first. It, it, it is with uh, first choice, isn't it, that you um, you got the yeah. warranty with? Yeah, I mean, the, people don't respond. Well, no, the problem is, I mean, I've spoken to first choice to find out why they're not doing it. They've said they won't come out to your place anymore. That is they're what, not coming out to my place anymore. Why? They're paid. Yeah, but they said they won't deal with you anymore, sir. They went over there apparently last time. There was some language, a lot of cigarette smoke, a lot of, lot of very no, we strange don't, behavior. We, uh, no. Well, there was a I lot of nasty there, behavior no. going on in that house, and they, they won't come out there anymore. That's the problem. You're going to have to bring... I was the only... Hey, hello. I was the only one here... Fuck, do, do you mean, hey, 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 wait a minute, dickhead. What do you mean, hey, hello? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to here? Who say, the hell are you calling dickhead? If you friend? say hey hello to me again, I will come over to that trailer of yours and headbutt your teeth so far down your throat you'll be fucking on, shitting an animal here. for the rest of the year, you little bitch. Bring bring it on, you little bitch. You Never little mind fuck. fucking hey hello, you drunken hillbilly stumbling redneck prick. <laughs> fuck you. Not even in your wildest dreams, you must faggot. You must have voted for Biden. Not, you, you oh, yes, I did. Time. President Biden, and he won. We won, sir, and yeah. you lost. Now, President Biden President Biden is going to deal with you people, and so is President now, Harris. Long live President you're Harris. You're from American Home Shield. You're some podunk dickhead somewhere. Check your caller ID, you stupid owner. fucking toothy redneck bastard. I need to talk to somebody that's going to fucking do something. I'm tired of this shit. I've paid my money, y'all taking my money, and I haven't gotten anything fixed yet. And I don't give a fuck, so why are you telling me? I know you don't give a fuck. So why are you telling me for? I need my refrigerator. Why are you telling me? I don't fucking what's care. What's your name? What? What's your name, asshole? My name is Ron, sir. And if you want, you can speak to my supervisor because I am not going to put up yeah, with your let shit. Yeah, let me talk to your supervisor. All right, say please. I ain't saying please to nobody. Ah, you just did. <laughs> One moment, sir. Hold for the supervisor. Fuck you. Not even in your wildest dreams, hillbilly boy. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You'd have to tie me to a tree and play a banjo first. This, this sorry, son of a bitch. Here, I tell you what. Your call is very you, important to us. I wish you'd come over to my Please house and shoot your ass. I bet you do, uh, with your big fat cock. Oh, well, this is not a person who thinks it is. Hello, this is Kathy. How may I help you? Yeah, I don't know who in the world that was that called over here cussing me and calling me all kinds of names, but I do not appreciate it. I am a customer of American Home Shield, have been for years, just trying to get my refrigerator freezer fixed. It's been out for almost a month. Parts mm -hmm. have been in since the 11th. Y'all already taken my money back on the 5th of the $100 service charge, and he tells me that first choice won't come out I worked on my stuff because there was a lot of cigarette smoke and cussing and stuff. Well, we don't smoke, number one. Number two, I was the only one here. I didn't see anything Did like out of the way to the man that checked my icebox. He wasn't even here 10 minutes. And do I you think that he meant chewing tobacco? Huh? D you didn't spit. Did, he, did they mean chewing tobacco? You didn't, you didn't spit at him, did you? No, I don't chew, spit, nothing. Oh, where are they getting this idea? We do not smoke. We're in a smoke-free home. Nobody smokes here. I was the only one here. I'm handicapped. I'm sitting here in my chair. 
he come walking in and everything like he was instructed to, check the ice box, told me it needed a defrost switch. I told him what's been going on, what been done in the past. He tells me it needs a defrost switch. I said, okay, fine. Well, how long is that going to take? He tells me it's going to take a few days to get it ordered. They need back yeah. out. <clears throat> Excuse me, be back out to fix it. Well, parts came in on the 11th. I've tried calling and leaving messages. They won't call me back. They won't email back. They, y'all have tried calling yeah. and emailing. Y'all can't yeah. talk to them or anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, sir, are, I want my are you e- fixed. I've been paying are y'all. I've been with sir, y'all for sir, years. Sir, sir, I've never been treated sir, like this sir. before. Sir, okay, I get it. Uh, are you eating something at the moment? Do you have something in your no, mouth? Because Is it the chewing tobacco? Because, like, you're talking like no, you're... No, I don't chew tobacco, lady. I'm not don't eating anything. Me. I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. I just assumed you had something in your mouth. No. Don't think I got my mouth, my damn tongue. Okay. I don't know what y'all's problem is, but I need to get this icebox fixed. Y'all been paid... Well, why don't you, okay, okay, well, there's a very simple solution and what you can do to fix it um, yourself. So um, go outside and go to a lake and then cut a piece of ice out of the lake and then bring it back and then put it in your ice chest. I don't know who the hell you think I'm at or where I live, but I ain't going to throw no damn ice in my icebox to make it work. Well, that's kind of... It's in the name, Ice Box. Ice Box get- Refrigerator. I don't give a damn what you call it. I want it fixed. Well, now it's just a box. It's not even an ice box anymore. Okay, it's a fucking refrigerator, okay? Refrigerator freezer, technically. I want it fixed. Y'all been paid. Y'all have had your $100 service charge paid on the fifth. I want this thing fixed. Okay, no problem. I can send someone to you, no problem. But you have to promise. And you have to swear to me, sir, that you're not going to spit at them anymore. What? Uh, What am I doing? I'm not doing anything wrong. Let me see that. You can't spit the chewing tobacco at our technicians, sir. Ma'am, ma'am. This is Mrs. Bill. We do not chew tobacco. We do not smoke. Uh, and our icebox has been out for somebody throwing words in our mouth that this icebox put ice in it and make it work. It's ridiculous. Now, okay, come wait, on. So what, are talking, what are we talking about? I don't about know what. The, the you know, y'all ask us what we've been smoking and drinking. What have y'all smoking and drinking? This guy called us and we The guy called well, it, my husband is cussing him out and it's not my telling job the to and all that. It's just so when someone comes in, When someone's coming to fix your ass box, you can't, you can't spit at them. It's it's rude. Pardon? Honey, nobody spit at anybody. I'm not. I'm not your honey. I don't want you to be my honey, but my point is, we don't spit at anybody. Look, sugar tits. Huh? Nobody's going to come out. (laughs) Excuse me. Look, sugar tits. Nobody's going to come up and come out and fix your ass box if you keep spitting, uh, chewing tobacco at them. Uh, If you find chewing tobacco in my house, I want to know who's chewing it, because we don't buy chewing tobacco. Well, maybe your all. husband has something to tell you. Y- y'all have this mixed alone. up with somebody else, ma'am, because we don't do that stuff at all. I'm pretty sure you did. We don't make mistakes. I'm sure you pretty do make mistakes, ma'am, because we don't smoke. We don't chew tobacco. Or nothing. I'm raising a little girl since birth. And I don't want that stuff in my house. And I don't want people coming in my house that smokes or chews tobacco. 
maybe the, your little girl chews tobacco. At six years out, I doubt it. I see Y'all are really crazy. stupid. I was trying to be nice, but you just as stupid as the guy that called us. Do not call me and stupid, always, man. I'll I call you what I want to. You putting words in my mouth and saying stuff that we did that we did not do. Well, That's it's a kind of hard piece of life. In your mouth, and I don't really even understand what you're saying. Do you want to get back to your road? <clears throat> do you want to get back to your roadkill of a dinner? What? Road killer, what? What is I your name, ma'am? I assume that's what you people eat is roadkill. My name is Kathy. Kathy. I'm Ann, and no, we don't eat roadkill. Have you, why are you losing your mind? Please, let's be civil people and get this icebox of mine fixed. So okay, I can okay. have my ice box. Okay. So what you need to do is maybe you could go to like your local Taco Bell or KFC or Chick-fil-A because you people apparently like that. And then you could ask them to use their ice box, get a bag of ice, and then bring it back to your ice box. What's that going to do to fix my ice box? Well, it's going to be a box with ice in it. It's a refrigerator, technically. It's a refrigerator. This refrigerator I'm trying to get fixed with my parents that have now now passed away. And I like to keep it as long as I can. I so already have a bag of ice in the ice box already for uh, ice. But it waits so, if it ma'am, keeps. Ma'am, are you keeping your parents in the fridge? Is that what's going on here? No, they died. We put them in a casket. And they married no, in Brownwood County. But like, and I know I'm they not died. Like, the, not the, you smoking crack. You didn't shove them in the ice box, right? Yeah, we did. You got me. So, because it's that's a, a motherfucker, bitch. Boy, I can't wait to turn y'all asses over to the Better Business Bureau. Oh, my God, do I have something to tell them? That there's two damn assholes that work there. One's a man and one's a woman. One must be fucking married. Ma'am, you're, are you just mad because you need a fix of your chewing tobacco? No, I have never chewed tobacco. Don't want to and never will. That stuff looks nasty. When people spit it out. Yeah, Not you ought to know because you're probably doing it now. I hear you spit now. No, 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 ma'am. I'm doing mess. You what? I said it, I find it disgusting that you keep your parents in the fridge. Oh, you, you just really fucked up. How? You have really lost it. I don't understand how. When are we, when are we gonna get this ass box fixed? I'm tired of your ass. Y'all call them. Now let's get it fixed. Ma'am, this is Ron. I'm the supervisor now. How are you doing? I just heard some of this conversation, and I am not. I'm very not happy. doing real good at all. Ma'am, I am. Y'all need to come back and fix this ass box before I blow a gasket and turn y'all into the Better Business Bureau. Ma'am, we have... In Channel 8. Ma'am, if you're going to be keeping... Ma'am, 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 please, I'm going to help you out here, but if you are going to be keeping bodies in the freezer, you are going to need to get them next model up, okay? Honey, fuck you! I don't keep nobody in the freezer! You and your wife are fucking idiots! You know, ma'am, it sounds Play like it sounds like your parents would have been more use as a fucking. It sounds like your parents would have been more use as ice cubes. Oh fuck you too. Could have done something useful instead in their life instead of making shit children. You know. Very true. Useless fucking idiot children that chew tobacco. Man, I can't believe somebody in in the business is talking to a customer as bad as both of y'all are doing. Fuck both of y'all. No, I can't believe anything. Y'all don't fuck each other. Fuck each other in the assholes. We I'm surprised that you actually made it this far in life without, like, 
accidentally killing yourself. Oh, shut up, bitch. Kathy, look, it's fair enough. I think. Get off the phone laughing and have maybe a decent conversation with somebody and maybe we can get this problem no, solved. I think we should do what she said, Kathy, and go off and fuck each other in the assholes. I mean, I'm down if you are. I'm down. Mm hmm. All right, yeah, we're going to go do that, ma'am. Do you want to watch? No, I don't want to watch y'all. Okay. Y'all are sickening folks. Well, at least we don't keep on. Okay, we're going to get this fixed, please. Let's. But, all no, joking are, aside that y'all are I am not joking the, with you, ma'am. You are going to have to keep your fucking... You are going to have to remove your parents from the refrigerator, ma'am, so that we can come and repair it. That's the problem here. Okay, they've been removed. They just took them out. Okay, next you're going to have to tell that fucking ugly-ass six-year-old dickhead kid of yours to shut up while we're talking. What? I said, tell that. You don't that. call my six-year-old kid anything. Yes, I She's do. not even in here. No, She's I not can, even in here. I can here, hear sir. her in the other room screaming like an idiot. Tell her to shut the fuck up while we're trying to have a conversation. Well, then fucking talk to me. Maybe I will. Well, all I can hear in the background Good. is that fucking retarded kid going, nah, nah, nah. What, she's six years old already? Is she, is she pregnant yet? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. That hit a fucking nerve, didn't it? Is that how you ended up with her? I bet she's your daughter's kid, isn't he? And your daughter's a fucking useless meth head. Let me guess. Hmm? That's it, isn't it? Yeah, you're looking after your useless meth head daughter's kid. Yeah, you're a great fucking role model here, aren't you? Why don't you just go buy another refrigerator, you useless cunt? Stop making shitty kids. I bet your daughter's in jail, isn't she? I bet you. But your daughter's in jail, that's why you've got the kid. You got fucking lumbered with that shit, didn't you? Hey, 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 hey. There's children here. I don't want to hear you dab language of mine. Santa Claus isn't real. God isn't real. Your mother's in jail for being a meth head prostitute and your grandmother looks like a fucking raisin with legs and could be dead any day. Sorry to break okay. it to you, kid. I'll have to pray for your ass. Yeah, well, God hates you. That's oh, why the kids... <laughs> oh, it. <laughs> Oh. They were something else. Holy uh, shit. 